What is up, everybody? You know what time it is. Sports Magazine moguls were counting down the 10 highest sports magazine sales from last month. And let me tell you, this was a huge month. In fact, the biggest month ever in sports magazine sales history. You don't want to miss this. All right, so we're going to change up the order a little bit this month. We're going to start with the honorable mentions, beginning with a 1935 baseball magazine with Lou Gehrig on the cover. This has been autographed by Lou Gehrig, authenticated by PSA, sold for $1,050 on eBay. Next up, we've got Time Magazine from 1947, and this is Jackie Robinson. This is his first cover appearance for Time Magazine. It's a CGC 6.0, sold for $1,050 on eBay. Up next, we got a 1989 Sports Illustrated with Michael Jordan. It's the Raging Bull cover, and this is a CGC 9.6, sold for $1,200 on eBay. Another Michael Jordan here, 1984 Sports Illustrated. This is his second cover. You can see him wearing his number nine jersey with Team USA playing in the Olympics at Los Angeles. And this is a CGC 6.5 that sold for $1,250 on eBay. Here we have Serena Williams from 2015 on the cover of Sports Illustrated. This has been autographed in silver Sharpie, authenticated by PSA, sold for $1,350 on eBay. Another copy of Michael Jordan's second Sports Illustrated cover from 1984, this time a CGC 7.0. This one sold for $1,375 on eBay. Going old school with the Sports Illustrated 1956, this is Bob Cousy, Hall of Fame point guard with the Boston Celtics. This is his first Sports Illustrated cover, and it's a CGC 9.0, sold for $1,389 in auction on eBay. Next up, we've got a program from the 1978 Indianapolis Racers, and this is Wayne Gretzky's first professional appearance. It's a CGC 6.5. Sold for $1,740 on Heritage Auctions. Here we've got another Michael Jordan. This is from 1986. This is his fourth cover. This is One Man Gang. And this one has been autographed by MJ, authenticated by JSA. Sold for $1,749 on eBay. Next up, another auto. This is from 1963. This is Muhammad Ali's first Sports Illustrated cover, still known as Cassius Clay. He signed both Muhammad Ali and Cassius Clay. And this sold for $1,800 on eBay. Now, this is a subscription copy. You can see the mailing label there down at the bottom. Next, we have 2002 Sports Illustrated. This is the first cover for LeBron James. This is a subscription copy, but it's a blank box subscription, and it's graded a CGC 9.8. This sold for $1,980 on Heritage. Next, we have the first cover for golf great Tiger Woods. This is from 1996, and it's a CGC 9.6, sold for $2,000 on eBay. A unique one here, this is 2001 WWF Magazine, and it's The Rock. It has been autographed and authenticated by Beckett, sold for $2,000 on eBay. Here's a nice tiger cover here from 1998, Killer Instinct, with an actual tiger on the cover, and it's a CGC 9.8, sold for $2,300 on eBay. Next, we have the 1956 Sports Illustrated Mickey Mantle first cover, graded a CGC 6.0, Sold for $2,350 on eBay. And here, similar to the LeBron, we've got another blank box subscription. This time it's Mike Trout and his first Sports Illustrated cover from 2012. It is also graded at a CGC 9.8. Sold for $2,400 on Heritage. And here's a true subscription copy with the mailing label still affixed. This is Pele. This is his first and only Sports Illustrated cover. It's from 1975, graded at a CGC 9.2, sold for $2,520 on Heritage. Next up, we have the first cover appearance for Mike Tyson on The Ring Magazine, popular boxing publication. This is graded at a CGC 9.4 and sold for $2,640 on Heritage. Here we have another Michael Jordan. This is from 1998. Don't bag it, Michael, trying to convince Michael not to retire. And it's graded as CGC 9.8. This is also playing off of a previous cover in 1994 when they said bag it, Michael, whenever he was playing baseball, uh, encouraging him to quit baseball and now kind of retracting their words and uh, using a play on words to say, uh, please don't quit basketball, but uh, pristine copy here, 9.8, sold for $3,240 on Heritage. And last up on our honorable mentions, this was an absolutely insane sale. Now, technically by price, there was this would come in at number one, 
but I only usually highlight single issues. So I felt this one would be more appropriate in the honorable mention section. This was a complete run from 1954 to 2023 of apparently every Sports Illustrated issue ever released. And the majority of them were autographed. There were a, a total of 4,039 issues and there were 2,154 original autographs on all of those issues. Absolutely insane. You can see here a collection of quite a few Michael Jordans. Uh, most of them in this lot were subscription with labels attached, but uh, there were definitely a handful of newsstands in there as well. And uh, here's a couple other photos. You can just see just uh, <laughs> unlimited amount of, of Sports Illustrated copies that were autographed. You got tons of Muhammad Ali's there on the left. In the middle, you got some Magic and Bird. And on the right-hand side, lots of various baseball. You got Mantle, Koufax, you got Hank Aaron, Ted Williams, Willie Mays, Ken Griffey Jr., Bo Jackson, Barry Bonds, Derek Jeter, all kinds of stuff. Absolutely crazy sale. Once again, this one went for $204,000 on Heritage. All right, now we're diving into the top 10. Let's see what we got. Starting off with number 10, and it is LeBron James. Once again, his first Sports Illustrated cover from 2002, and this time it's a true newsstand copy. It is a CGC 9.8, and it sold for $3,500 on eBay. There are a total of 274 newsstand copies of this issue graded, and this is one of 44 9.8s. Coming in at number nine, we've got Tom Brady. This is Sports Illustrated from 2004. Not his first cover, but one of his earlier ones. It's graded a CGC 9.8, sold for $3,720 on Heritage. There are only 12 newsstand copies of this issue graded, and this is one of only two 9.8s. Number eight, The Babe Bows Out. This is from 1948, and this was a program from Babe Ruth's final appearance at Yankee Stadium. This is a CGC 3.0 and it sold for $4,200 on Heritage. This is the only copy of this program that has been graded by CGC. Number seven, Willie Mays and his first Sports Illustrated cover from 1955, also featuring his manager at the time, Leo DeRocher, and Leo's wife, Lorraine Day, who is an actress. And uh, once again, this is Willie Mays' very first Sports Illustrated cover. It's a CGC 9.2 copy, and this one sold for $5,000 in a private sale. There have only been 34 newsstand copies of this graded, and this is a pop five at the 9.2 level with only six copies graded higher. Number six, Michael Jordan again from 1998, and this is the last stand issue. Graded a CGC 9.8, sold for $8,100 on Heritage. There are 45 newsstand copies of this issue graded, and this is one of four 9.8s. Coming in at number five, this is Michael Jordan's first Sports Illustrated cover going back to 1983, still in college with North Carolina. Also featured there is Sam Perkins, and this is a CGC 8.5 copy of MJ's first cover. This one went for $13,000 in a private sale. There have been 117 total copies of this issue graded. It is a pop five at the 8.5 level, and there are only seven copies graded higher. Coming in at number four, we have Mickey Mantle's first cover again. This one is a CGC 9.0. It's from 1956, and this one went for $20,000 in a private sale. The Mickey Mantle first cover has been graded 58 times in newsstand, and at the 9.0 level, it is a pop two with nine copies graded higher. At number three, we have Wayne Gretzky. This is his first Sports Illustrated cover from 1981. It's a CGC 9.4 copy, and it sold for $24,000 on Heritage in public auction. 83 total newsstand copies of this issue graded, and as a 9.4, it is a pop four with only one copy graded higher. Coming in at number two, one of the most iconic Sports Illustrated covers of all time. This is the Miracle on Ice issue from 1980 when the Team USA hockey uh, defeated the Russians. And uh, amazing celebration there. No caption even necessary on the cover. Just let the photo speak for itself. This CGC 9.6 copy sold for $25,200 on Heritage. There have been 81 newsstand copies graded. And this is the only 9.6. There is one 9.8 out there. And coming in at number one, the highest selling sports magazine, not only of last month, 
but of all time, shattering the previous record. This is Michael Jordan's first pro cover, first time he appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated in his Chicago Bulls uniform. It's from 1984, A Star is Born, and it is an immaculate CGC 9.8. This sold for $126,000 on Heritage. There have been 77 newsstand copies of this issue graded. This is one of only three 9.8s. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.